Hello, Assalamualaikum. Today, I will to share you guys about documentary Pele. Pele is the subject of a new Netflix documentary and of the same name. And one thing I learned immediately, and I then had an emphasis on the wrong syllable my entire life. This documentary tells the story of iconic footballer Pele. He strives for perfection and the mythical status he attained. Did you know he was only 17 when he was called up to play on the World Cup team for the 1958 World Cup? It's crazy and how young he was and that what he did for that. This documentary gives us a good picture of Pele as he played for Brazil. And we have interview with the legend himself along with discussion with his sister, former teammate and coaches as well as even journalists and political figures. These interviews are that supported by the massive amount of news footage that spends a little bit more than a decade worth of time now. If you are looking for a gacha type documentary or even that goes into uh, the news and trainings of a late personal life, you are going to be disappointed. This is a deep dive into his life of the pitch. We do get a little bit of his family background from when he's a young boy. So, but not about Turn. We also get a little of part of his personal life when he's married, but again, it's pretty surface level. And it does go into great detail. We do get candid tools from Pele too. Especially when it comes to growing up or even his first wife, this documentary primarily focuses on his time playing for Brazil and why he become known as the one of the greatest to ever play the game. Through this focus, how the social and political landscape at the time in his country. I thought it was interesting to see how there was the concept known as Brazil. One great complex where Brazilians look down on themselves and their country but when the football team started winning, give the citizens a new perspective on themselves and a reason to be proud of their nation. I thought that transformation was really cool to watch this also dive into some of the politics going on in Brazil and the time and maybe build a good picture of the how the political escape shape the country outlook and morally and why the 1970 World Cup become so important. I found it info informative from a cultural perspective because I honestly I didn't know a ton about Brazil and I'm not saying I'm not just a expert on the country by any means but I do have more knowledge about what's going on during this time and how it affected the people because I got to experience this documentary and for instance I didn't know they was under a dictatorship for a number of years. They show with this information while discussing how a political play was and how that because he didn't voice a political opinion, it done some people very wrong because he didn't use his influence to the advantage that believe the he should. I also like hearing that from Pele on some of his stuff during that time. It removed a lot of speculation and give us first hand knowledge of somebody talk. I got to say this is a nice change of pace from some of the documentary. I typically watch the majority uh, of the ones are really deal with the true crime. So to have that is just a human interest story was really nice and sure. This one is pretty much only focusing on the positive of play and his contribution to the game. But I think that's fine. I mean to focus on a positive story. I just didn't bother me. I think this is actually the case because it's just fun to watch all the great plays and the great game footage. That this documentary contest and I'm a sport guy and I typically follow football but I do really enjoy watching the World Cup and because I follow sport I have a team to root for so and I typically rooting for underdog and it was his last World Cup in 2018. I was rooting for Indian and I didn't win bro. I, I don't think you need to be a sport fan. Sport fan. But to enjoy this because it really is a focus on a human story but I do believe that your enjoyment will be greatly enhanced if you really enjoy the sport. This is an hour and 48 minutes long and I never got bored. I mean this so many clips of the game that keep the excitement up. I found it really engaging to watch this massive collection of highly trying the made him one of the greatest in the game story. The story is told in a linear fashion, it flowed pretty well, but the beginning was a tiny a bit rough because the years were a bit bad, bad. And how the documentary was present them, I had to pause the show and look up some of the detail on play just to make sure I was following along correctly. I mean, it's way more impressive to know that he played his first World Cup before he was 18 and I had no look up, look up his birth year. I would have been sure that he was actually born in 1940 
I mean, the documentary does make mention of it, but not in a way that made me feel confident. I heard the correct information. No Pele did have a career after he stopped playing for Brazil, but the com documentary barely touches on this only about the last two minutes. So how he began playing for a New York team and how that was a really large introduction of soccer to us because this done into all the negative and the darkest corner of his life or really even much of his life of the field i can understand how this may feel a little like a fluff documentary and that's a pretty accurate impression but i really did find the positive tone to be refreshing so if you are into football or angel story that highlight achievement this is a good one to watch there are no sex or nudity, some profanity and some violence. I certainly recommend it. Checking out the documentary play. Do you follow football? Do you have a favorite team or are you really familiar with Alice and his contribution to the popularity of the sport? Let me know in the comment below if you enjoyed this review. Please give a uh, also don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chong. This is Movie and Munchies. Thanks for catching me with me.